Welcome to Lincoln Tech, Union, New Jersey. My name is Mr. Baton. I'm one of the automotive instructors here at the campus. And this is our intro room. Uh, this is the first class all of our students enter. And in here, we try to teach them, we start off with teaching them the industry and how it works. And then we start teaching them some of the basics of the engines, okay? We, we try to get them familiar with all the automotive parts that are in the engine and understand the basics, okay? Camshafts and, and so forth. So when they leave this room, they have a little understanding of how a car works. So we we kind of go through the engine. They should understand how fuel is delivered, how the fuel is burnt in an engine. And then we uh, get them into the transmission a little bit and the rear differential, different types of powertrain layouts with a four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, and so forth. And from here, they should be set as they go forward for their other classes. So this is our electrical room. And in our electrical room, this is their second class where they start to learn the basics of electricity. We cover everything from batteries, alternators, starters, blower motors, instrument panels, what you see behind me is one of the many trainers that we have in this room. And what this does is we could have the students actually build circuits with relays and batteries and wire the circuits themselves. And then actually put their meters in to be able to take voltage readings and start understanding voltage drop and Ohm's law, how electricity flows. So this is our engines room. And in the engines room, the students are basically learning all different types of motors. One of the motors we have in our engines room right here, as you can see, are a lot of four-cylinder non-interference motors. And what the students do in this room is completely do a disassemble of the engine right down to the bare block. And then as they go back together, they're taught how to make all the necessary measurements and adjustments in order to get these engines back together. Once they are all back together, the engine has to start, run, and this is how they're graded. Welcome to the transmission room. So this is auto trans. And in this room, we give the students a very good understanding of automatic transmission. We have several units. They're all put on the benches and the students rip the transmissions down right to the case. Then, like they do in the engines class, after it's completely stripped down to the case, going back together, they learn how to do all the necessary adjustments and checks before they put it on this the trans dyno. The trans dyno allows us to run the transmission without an engine, um, make sure they have all the gears and the transmission works properly. So this is our race room as we refer to as the toy room. And this is a program that we have for honor students. So after a student's completed three classes, he could sign up for the race team. And in our race team, our students come in here twice a week after class and they are the ones that work on the cars and do all the necessary repairs and build the cars, okay? Here we have our dragster. Our dragster runs on E85 ethanol. Uh, it's got a 565 in it and it's pushing out close to 1,000 horsepower. Runs a quarter mile, roughly seven seconds, about 175 miles an hour. Behind us is the Pontiac. The Pontiac is what started our race team. It's a very heavy car. It's 3,600 pounds, which is heavy for a race car, versus this is 1,800. That has a 350 small block in it. That's stroker engine that's punched out to a 440. Uh, this car has come a long way. When the students first started working on that car, it's what started the race team. And it was a 14 second car, which was nothing really to brag about. Now this car has recently, the last time out, we got it down to 9.1 seconds in the quarter mile, uh, somewhere around 140 miles an hour. As you see to my left, this is our next project. This is a Mustang that we're building. This is gonna be a, a road race car slash show car that we could take to shows. We've already did all the suspension work in it. And now they're getting ready to do the whole brake system. Welcome to the drivability and fuels room. So in this room, our students learn all the different fuel delivery systems. And they also learn about drivability problems. Okay. As you see here, we have some trainers that teach them how the EVAP system works. 
different fuel delivery systems. So in our heat and an air conditioning room, this is one of many trainers that we have that the students can get in here and actually see how coolant flows through the heater quarter. And we actually have a false front of a motor here. But more important, they really get to understand air conditioning this, this, with this tool. And they're able to hook up their gauges, do evacuation and recharge, and also really start to understand air conditioning. A lot of clear tubes on here, so they actually can see the refrigerant changing from a liquid to a gas. So this is our shop. Right now it's kind of set up for a drive through because even though our school is closed, we have been keeping our students engaged online and trying to get all the theory behind all these classes so when we do get back into the building, they'll be doing their hands-on. That's why we have the table set up here. But in our shop, one of the things we do that I think is really good, we have a lot of different type of equipment. A lot of the lifts are different styles. So regardless of the shop they get into, they should be familiar with the lift. We do the same thing with wheel balancers. We have several wheel balancers against the wall. Some are very high tech and some are very low tech. So they should understand how to use whatever one winds up in their shop. The same thing applies to their tire machines. We have tire machines that are for low profile, high tech machine to the very basic tire machine.